My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can add a data row to an existing data table. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So let's get started. We will create a data table and we will create it from this Excel uh, sheet. So uh, let's search for an Excel application scope. Drag this guy in. The workbook path, that's just the path of this workbook. So let's close it. Choose it here. And now we can open it again to inspect the data. We will uh, unbox this visible because that will just be all the calculations uh, done in visibility. We will just lay, have it behind. And um, here we got the data. We got two columns, ID and name, and we want to add a uh, sixth row. So we have uh, number six, the ID is six, and then uh, a name here. Let's just say that we get this data in from another uh, process that could be like a data scraping or database or whatever. So uh, we will have a multiple assign up here. So that's going before it and uh, we'll get some data that could be so control K STR ID and that will just be six and then we'll add a so control K STR name like this and then it will be Foxtrot like this. We want to, uh, so this here, we will uh, create a data table and we want to add this row to it. So choose a first a read range. We will read this sheet one and we will uh, add the headers as well and we will output it to a data table. So control K DT and we can call it like uh, input or data maybe will be a more appropriate name like this. So now we got, uh, we read it. And we read it as a data table, we can add a data row it, and that's fairly simple. So find a add data row here, drag this guy in, and choose on the data table, we will choose our newly created DT data, and then we will click the three dots here, we'll create an array. So curly brackets, and we'll just choose our two variables, like str idea and str name. We could of course also have chosen just to hard code it in, like this but we will like the variables so str name like this so now we add a data row and we can write out the range again to the excel sheet so write range choose the one under excel like this sheet one that's fine let's delete this range the data table that's just dt data and now we can choose to add the headers we can do it because it will just override so uh, and we'll close the Excel worksheet and we'll see that we, we run it and we'll see that we actually added a data row to our data table. UiPath runs, you can see it here. <clears throat> we'll wait a few seconds. And then we will add uh, the data row. Now we added it. So let's open the Excel worksheet and see that we actually um, accomplished our mission. So um, we open Excel here and we can see here that we actually uh, accomplished our mission. We got a, another data row. So that's how easy you can add data rows to data tables. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Have a good day. Bye bye.